you're lean. You can't build a line in your chest by targeting that line. Okay, that's definitely enough with the 35s. So I'll just do another normal set with the 25s. But honestly, everybody's got overdeveloped front delts. So maybe what, six or seven reps? Kind of not full range of motion, maybe. And that's, you know, kind of following that logic. I don't have a favorite day. This is for the advanced lifters only. I'm going beyond failure. I'm going to failure, then I'm gonna do partial reps. And so is it really all about size? Well, I'm gonna say no, that's one of... The Sam Sulik and Greg Doucet controversy. The Sam Sulik and Greg Doucet controversy is a whirlwind drama that got the fitness world buzzing. It all started when Greg Doucet, a well-known figure in the bodybuilding and fitness community, threw some serious shade in Sam Sulik's direction. This whole feud is like the real housewives of the fitness industry, but with less yelling and more bicep curls. So where did it all begin? Well, it boils down to some pretty hefty allegations. Greg Doucet made a bold claim that Sam Sulik might be juicing. Translation? Doucet suggested that Sulik is using anabolic steroids to get those Hulk-like gains. And he didn't just say it quietly, he shouted it from the internet mountaintops. What's Doucet's evidence, you ask? He's pointed out several things. Sulik's rapid muscle growth, changes in his facial features, acne, a known side effect of steroid use, and his sheer size. According to Doucet, the math just doesn't add up. Sulik's gains are so dramatic that they raise eyebrows, and not just because of his buffed up biceps. But it's not just about the accusations. This feud is shedding light on broader issues in the fitness world. It's a clash between old school bodybuilding knowledge and new age fitness influencers. All right, let's do one more at the same weight when you have very low body fat levels and so it's not being covered by a layer of fat. Does that not make sense? Holy shit, yeah, I fucking did a solid leg day. And then honestly, the rest of it, it doesn't make sense to me when I see somebody just slam their pre before their first set. You have to dig deep. You have to push yourself harder than you ever had before. Really think about it. But just as a way to change it up, I mean, fuck it, man. Let's say you see another dude who's pretty big, you want to talk to him. That's a good start. I would have liked eight, but... I mean, what are you gonna do? You do 10 sets of upper chest and one set of lower chest? I mean, shoulders for me ends up being a pretty, a pretty simple lift. It's a battle between those who swear by a clean diet and precise macronutrient tracking, and those who say, why worry about the details when you can just eat donuts and hit your calorie goal? The Sam Sulik and Greg Doucette controversy isn't just a spat between two guys. It's symbolic of the larger debates happening in the fitness industry. The clash is all about the right way to train, eat, and live the fitness lifestyle. So this beef isn't just for the gossip hungry, it's a reflection of how fitness is evolving in the digital age. It's like the old school gym rats meeting the TikTok generation and the ring is the internet. Stay tuned folks, this feud isn't over yet and it's teaching us all a thing or two about the wild, wild world of fitness on the internet. Greg Doucette's Allegations all right, let's get into the nitty gritty of Greg Doucette's allegations against Sam Sulik and the whole steroid saga. So Doucette, a seasoned figure in the fitness game, has dropped an explosive, he's questioning whether Sam Sulik's gains are all natural. Now what's Doucette's beef? He's got a checklist of things that he's using as receipts to support his claim. First off, there's the jaw-dropping muscle growth that Sulik has experienced. I mean, we're talking about gains that make the Hulk look like a regular dude. To do set, this doesn't just raise an eyebrow, it waves it around like a flag at a rock concert. Then there's the facial stuff. Doucette argues that Sulik's face has gone through some changes, you know, like becoming more chiseled than a statue of David. According to Doucette, it's a telltale sign of juicing, but hey, some people do have naturally changing faces with age, right? Acne is another piece of the puzzle. We're not talking about the occasional zit here, we're talking about full-blown acne, and guess what? And so, last I checked, you can't spot reduce. You can't get greater definition in the lower chest by targeting it. Honestly, I kind of like the feeling of this. I might do another one, but I'll drop it. Because, I mean, I mean, it's going to take 15 minutes before you even feel anything. So, let's just get in the car and get over there. Now, because pre-workout 2.0 doesn't have creatine, I'm going to put one scoop of creatine in there. So, I sat on the tricep push down, single arm, warm up the tricep like five minutes under the nipple, he circles it. And so he has a model, uh, half-ish, more so on the bottom half. And then, this is gonna be a freaking, 
late lift. And so, yeah, you can emphasize certain parts a little bit more, but you're not going to actually see that line unless, guess what? It's also a well-known side effect of steroid use. So when Sulik's skin started to look like the surface of the moon, Doucette saw it as a red flag. And let's not forget the sheer size of Sulik. The guy is massive. We're talking mountains of muscle. For some, this is the cherry on top of the steroid allegation Sunday. In Doucette's world, the math just doesn't add up. You can't eat donuts and Krispy Kreme and still look like a Greek god, according to him. Sam Sulik's response to Greg Doucette. Now let's talk about Sam Sulik's side of the story and how he's responded to the steroid accusations lobbed at him by Greg Doucette. When someone calls you out for something as serious as using steroids, you've got to come up with a response, right? Sulik hasn't taken these allegations lightly. In response to Doucette's claims, he's taken to social media to defend himself. He's posted videos and made statements addressing the accusations. In one of his YouTube videos, he's come out and stated that he's natural, which is bodybuilding lingo for not using steroids. He's also brought in the big guns, or in this case, a doctor. Sulik shared blood test results that indicate his hormone levels are within the normal range. This is his way of saying, look, my body's producing these gains naturally, no steroids involved. The controversy has had an impact on his content as well. Sulik now includes more information about his training and nutrition to show how he's achieved his physique. It's like he's saying, here's my blueprint. You can do it too without steroids. This is for the advanced lifters only. I'm going beyond failure. I'm going to failure. Then I'm going to do partial reps. Another set with a 35s after the next one. I think I'm going to be too fatigued to hit eight good reps. I'm not just going to drink the pre right when I get in there. So I'm really scrapping the, scraping the bottom of the barrel with this one. He's going to go on and explain how you need to work the lower chest. This tiny little line down here. Just do some uh, rotator cuff activations to get through the arms today. Not that my sets are going to be easy, but it's just less. But it's not all about countering the allegations. Sulik has also responded with a bit of humor. He's embraced the memes that have been circulating on social media, poking fun at his shy and awkward persona. So there you have it. Sam Sulik hasn't stayed quiet in the face of these serious allegations. He's defended his reputation with statements, blood test results, and a sense of humor. The fitness community is watching closely to see how this drama unfolds and whether the two sides can find common ground. Social Media Feuds All right, let's take a look at the juicy bits, the role of social media in the Sam Sulik and Greg Doucette feud. This is where things get interesting. The clash between these two fitness giants isn't just happening behind closed doors. No, sir. It's a full-blown internet spectacle, and the battleground is social media. Both Sam Sulik and Greg Doucette have used various platforms to air their grievances. YouTube is the main stage for their spats. Sulik has posted videos addressing the allegations and defending his natural status. Meanwhile, Doucette, with his sizable YouTube following, has been the one making the initial allegations and explaining his reasoning. TikTok, the home of quick and snappy content, has also played a role. Sulik, with his growing TikTok presence, has responded to the accusations in short video clips. It's like a rapid-fire exchange of fitness disses in the most millennial way possible. Now remember, I'm on HRT, I'm not bullshitting you and taking 140 milligrams a week, but I'm trying to maximize every... We'll just drink this so by the time we actually get there, you know, it'll be fully kicked in. It always... I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but having to do spot you and getting like some assisted partials, and then here we are. So I'm gonna drop the three, tw three plates in 25. Three important variables, size, shape, and definition. You know, based on past events, but I'd say probably maybe 20 minutes out. But it doesn't stop there. Instagram is where both have showcased their ripped physiques and engaged in some online flexing. It's all part of the show, you know. The beauty of social media is that it allows both parties to interact with their followers and fans directly. They can read comments, respond in real time, and gain support or face criticism instantly. It's not a feud behind closed doors. It's out in the open for everyone to witness. So social media isn't just where the Sam Sulik and Greg Doucette feud has taken place. It's the very fuel that's keeping it alive and kicking. The internet, with its platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, is where this battle royale plays out for all to see. 
Strap in, folks. This clash is a wild ride, and it's all happening in the digital arena. How Sam Sulik and Greg Doucette influence fitness discourse. Here we are at the heart of it all, looking beyond the beef and into the real impact of the Sam Sulik and Greg Doucette feud. You see, this controversy isn't just about two guys throwing shade at each other, it's shaping the way we talk about fitness. And so you can take one, two or three scoops. I'm gonna go ahead and take two scoops. You're working the entirety of the chest. You can't say I'm only working my upper chest without the lower chest working. So rather oh, then, well, it's, you get what I'm saying, you know, legs is going to be a bit tougher because I mean, for one thing, my front delts are overdeveloped enough. But you also need great definition. But for that, you need to target the lower chest. Like, sure, legs will be a little bit harder, but then you get to finish it and say, OK, here it is. The last set of the day, the most important one. First things first. Their public disagreements are like a fitness masterclass for all of us. The clash highlights the different schools of thought in the fitness world. It's the old school muscle building approach against the new age influencer trend. Sulik represents the calories are king camp, while Doucette is firmly rooted in the clean eating and strict macros philosophy. So their feud is helping us all understand the diversity in fitness. But it's not just about diet, it's about the bigger picture. This feud makes us rethink the way we see training, nutrition, and steroid use. It sparks debates and discussions within the fitness community about what's right and what's not. Are we all just slaves to the chicken and broccoli diet, or is there room for a bit of flexibility? So while this feud might be seen as just drama, it's actually changing the way we talk about fitness. It's not just about Sam Sulik and Greg Doucette anymore, it's about all of us navigating the waters of the fitness world, making informed choices, and finding what works best for our bodies. In the end, that's what fitness is all about, right? That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.